and open your UI Path Studio. From the UI Path Studio, here you see the left side. You have a uh, multiple options here: Open and the Start Tools, uh, Templates, uh, Team Settings. And if you click on Open, and uh, so if you are not developed any project already, uh, if you want to open the previous project, and you can use this option to uh, open, or else you can use this uh, Open a Local uh, Project uh, uh, option here. And for this start, if you click here start and here you see the open uh, panel and the open recent uh, projects and also you can see here the new uh, project and the new uh, uh, from uh, templates. Okay. And uh, so this is, these are the sections, uh, you know, which is available on the open, I mean the recent project list here. And here you see the new project. So he, here it is a place we can, you know, go and uh, create a um, process. And here there are rather couple of uh, templates we have uh, that is RE framework and the background process, mobile testing project and orchestration process, transactional process. So these are the uh, already inbuilt template and we can utilize uh, based on our uh, requirement. Okay. And if you go to tools and uh, see here uh, there are three uh, options in the tools. Uh, so apps, UI path extension and plugin. Okay. So if you if you see the apps and here you see UI Explorer, uh, which we use to interact the UI element that I will you know, cover it later here. And here other options are as well project dependency, mouse update tool and here the repair tool for Microsoft Office. So assume that sometime you know, if you are facing any trouble with the Microsoft Office so while interacting with the uh, UI Path Studio and uh, so we need to uh, use this option to repair Microsoft Office. And uh, clicking on UI path extension, and uh, so here there are a lot of extension here. Let's say, no, if you want to interact with the uh, Chrome browser, you need to install the uh, Chrome uh, extension here. And also the same like you no know, Edge and the Firefox. And if you want to interact with any Java, Java application or Citrix or uh, no, the VMware uh, Horizon, so Excel add in, so these kind of uh, apl uh, applications then you need to uh, install these extensions okay plugin about the plugin i will uh, i will you know um, cover this later because this uh, plugin we use to manage our uh, source code okay. coming to the template and you, you can see you know a lot of templates here these are the predefined templates which you can use based on your uh, process uh, requirements and here if you are going to uh, team and here you know there are uh, git and a git repository and uh, so this is the place uh, so if you have a git account and uh, we can store uh, our uh, project source code there uh, to manage the project file uh, for to the entire team that i will tell you later about this so anyhow we are going to cover this with uh, different topics and here you know uh, coming to settings you can see here the general settings it's uh, about uh, the language uh, selection and the theme selection and uh, coming to design tab here you can uh, predefine your uh, process um, uh, designs uh, let's say you know uh, here uh, auto backup interval uh, here you know 30,000 uh, milliseconds and if you want to uh, if you want to add more you can add it so it's these are the your uh, project uh, customized uh, design so that you can enable it so let's say you no. Know, if you want to work with the modern uh, uh, activities, you can enable this one. I will tell you what is modern activities and classic activities and all. So this is uh, basic uh, uh, design. Okay. And coming to location, uh, here I see. Uh, so I have a uh, no this location default location. So whatever the process I I create using this uh, UI Path Studio and that process will be saved in this uh, location okay and uh, also uh, whenever you publish the project template url uh, that will be uh, stored here in this uh, location okay and coming to manage source as you know and uh, so through ui path studio we can interact with uh, many applications like uh, word excel um, or SQL database or web page windows applications right 
so couple um, couple of uh, pro couple of activities if if assume that you know you if you if you want to work with a uh, sql database and you need to uh, uh, install a packages uh, it's like you know uh, a library okay and for that uh, so there are the default package sources available in the local and if you download any uh, packages from the marketplace you can uh, post it here i mean uh, you can uh, load in this uh, package folder and you can utilize it and this is the official uh, ui path uh, managed package uh, uh, path and here it is a marketplace path and uh, so i tell you uh, uh, in, in the upcoming session and what is managed packages and how to get it and also just assume that so these are the path so we have these are the path we have uh, to install new packages and coming to license and profile and here you see your uh, profile uh, so which provide profile you have chosen for uh, work here i have choose the ui path uh, studio so then uh, i'm going to uh, know, uh, create a new uh, process so this is the place uh, we can create a new process just click on uh, process and name it like uh, studio overview demo and uh, so this is the this is your uh, project location path and uh, so this is a description you can add the uh, process uh, description here and also here you can see the compatibility so default here it is a windows and uh, here there are the other two options cross platform and windows legacy i you know um, let you uh, know so i will explain this what is windows uh, i mean the uh, cross platform and windows legacy later and you can leave it as it is window and here there are two uh, option uh, the language option one is vb which was basic and other one is c sharp and uh, so let's say you no know, if you are comfortable with uh, c sharp syntax and you can use uh, c sharp and if you are comfortable with vb or uh, syntax uh, so you can choose vb i use vb always then click create okay so once uh, your uh, no, uh, page is loaded and here you see uh, so this is the overall uh, ui path studio components and here you see the left side there is a panel that is a called uh, project panel and activity panel snippet panel okay and i will you uh, know uh, explain uh, one by one uh, in detail and in this uh, middle uh, page we used to call the uh, uh, workflow designer panel okay so workflow designer panel uh, click on this main workflow and uh, so here in the right side you see uh, this is the property panel so in the bottom you can see uh, properties panel and outline panel and uh, there are other couple of uh, panel also object repository data manager and test explorer so this will be covered in a different topics so just understand the tool uh, in this session and what are the panels available uh, in the ui path studio so coming to project panel so this is the panel uh, this is a very important panel that that is project panel and here you see here you see your uh, process title and the dependencies coming to dependencies and uh, so whenever you create a new process and uh, you may expect uh, these are the default i mean you may expect the default dependencies default dependencies in the sense let's say you know here there is a dependency ui path excel dot activities uh, then we can do automate uh, automate uh, excel related uh, excel related process here there is a mail activities so we can do automate mail related activities and also system activities and testing activities and ui automation ui automation activities in the sense so if you want to uh, uh, automate the browser web browser you can use this uh, ui automation activities even for windows uh, application okay and uh, let's say excel activities and uh, so here is the dependency excel dot activities and go to activity panel and if you type excel here and you will see lot of options here activities which we call activities and you can use these activities uh, for uh, process build and uh, if you go here and this, let's say no i want to automate uh, word okay word application so there is no dependency here so if you go to activity panel if you type word okay and there is no word activities to automate word applications okay and uh, so if i want to do a word application then you, you go back to uh, project panel 
and here you see uh, dependencies right and right click on uh, dependency and click on manage dependency and you will get this sub window manage packages and here you click all packages and here no just simply type word okay here you see uipath.word.activities so this is the package uh, dependency we used to um, I mean we used to automate uipath uh, word, act word activities then click on install and click on save and it will take some time to uh, load load dependencies and yeah now it's done you see here now in the dependency uh, uh, here in the page and there is a uipath.go.activities added that is there is a new dependency added now you go back to uh, activity panel if you type word here and you will see there are um, many uh, word activities available like you know add picture append uh, and insert data table into documents so this uh, activity you can use to build your word related automations okay and uh, so this is all about uh, dependencies and here you can see other couple of uh, uh, folders and here you see the main xml uh, file okay so this is very important file you do not uh, delete this one from here and leave it as it is okay and let's say now if i want to change uh, my process name then click on this studio overview and right click and go to project settings and you can change your uh, process name and also you can add your description or you can edit modify your description as well okay then click on ok and coming to activity panel so this activity panel uh, so we used to uh, automate uh, the process uh, which is you know uh, these are these are the activities uh, to help us to build automation let's say you know if i want to do automation with excel then i can use excel activities if i want to do automation with a word then i can uh, drag and drop these word activities i can build okay the system activities also let's say uh, system so if you see system activities under the application there are uh, many activities are there under the file and you have a lot of activities are there like uh, copy file copy folder and uh, delete files and whether uh, file exists folder exists there are many activities available you can use this activity to build your automations okay so that is the purpose of this activity panel and here there are other options like you know here uh, uh, collapse and uh, so this is expand all and uh, so this is a uh, collapse all so if you uh, click this uh, collapse all and all your activities you know collapse and if you click on this expand all uh, you can expand you can see all the activities here and this uh, view option icon we used to uh, you know uh, add our uh, customized uh, uh, options here let's say you no know, uh, here you see the uh, here whatever the activity you see in the excel so those are the activity related to classic classic in the sense uh, these are the activities uh, released uh, earlier and uh, so currently they have introduced the modern activities uh, which is more user friendly and uh, more uh, accuracy and then uh, so you know i want to work with modern if i want to work with modern activities then you click on this uh, more option and you can select this modern activity and once you click uh, selecting a uh, modern activity and you can able to see here uh, so the modern activity uh, uh, activities and uh, so in that there will be a question can i use a uh, modern activity and classic activities in a project yes you can uh, use modern activity classic activity in the same project okay and uh, that's all about activity panel and uh, uh, coming to snippet panel and uh, so there are the uh, inbuilt uh, uh, process uh, um, there and uh, which is uh, customized uh, we can say that customized uh, process template so you can utilize if you want or you can refer this uh, process uh, for your learning purpose or you can apply this process if if you are going to apply it any logic the same logic in your uh, live project okay and uh, this this panel this particular panel you are aware of that is a workflow designer panel and this is the variable panel so i will uh, talk about variable panel later and this is the argument panel 
so this is also i will cover it later and here are the other uh, panel that is the import panel and uh, so coming to property panel and uh, so as of now you just uh, know the naming of uh, panels and i will tell you later in the live session and here the outline panel and text text expo, text explorer and object repository and data manager okay these are the panels which is available in the studio and other couple of panels are available here uh, output panel and find reference breakpoints and the error list and these are the panels we use at the time of uh, process execution okay and uh, other uh, few panels are there like local panel watch panel immediate panel that will be uh, that we can see at the time of execution let's say no i want to execute a process and uh, once you start executing the uh, executing your process and you can you can able to see your local and local panel watch panel immediate panel and i will tell you at the time of uh, practical and uh, what are the information you can see in the local panel and uh, what we can see in the watch panel or immediate panel and also here there are other couple of uh, panel like output call stack and breakpoints so this this already we covered okay so we have a session for each uh, panel uh, so don't worry so as of now you understand what are the panels uh, available in uh, studio and uh, where 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 the where it is available so that is the main important because nowadays we are uh, working from home and so everybody uh, everybody is in a remote and uh, let's say no i am your uh, architect or a tech lead and if i want to if i want uh, you to share your screen and if i say hey go to project panel hey go to uh, property panel hey go to outline panel then you have to navigate that particular uh, uh, panel immediately okay and uh, that is the reason i am explaining this uh, panels what are the options available on the studio and we have other uh, two tabs design and debug and uh, so in the design there are a couple of uh, options available i uh, will explain all those option when it comes to practical and there is a debug option and you can see there are uh, here also there are uh, many uh, options available here and this also i will cover at the time of uh, practical okay and in the design uh, as you know in the project panel so we can add uh, manage packages uh, on right clicking on uh, dependencies and also you can use this manage packages uh, to get to install your uh, dependencies okay so either you can uh, right click and click on manage or you can uh, click on this manage packages okay so this is all about uh, studio and uh